they wish they could forget. The USS Forrestal fire resulted in the worst loss of life on a U.S. Navy ship since World War II. This year marks the 50th anniversary of that tragic event. Mike Gooding spoke with the ship's former sailors and Marines as they prepare for this year's ceremony. It was July 29, 1967, when all hell broke loose. Five decades later, former Forrestal Senior Chief Joe Costello remembers the two buddies he lost that day. There, by the grace of God, go I. Could have been me. I met with some Forrestal alumni before this year's upcoming 50th anniversary ceremony. It'll be on July 29th at the Arlington National Cemetery Amphitheater. Among the many things the former crewmen discuss is the heroism that was displayed that day by the crew. One of them, Bosun's mate Gerald Ferrier, has the Norfolk Firefighting School named after him. It's a school where sailors of today learn how to fight shipboard fires, thanks in large part to the way the Forrestal team fought that fire that day. They could have lost the ship, but they didn't. No, because of the firefighting teams. Oddly, five decades later, the 134 killed and 161 injured have not been awarded Purple Heart medals because the criteria says the wounds must have been received as a direct result of a hostile enemy action. And the Forrestal fire, although taking place in a combat zone during combat operations off Vietnam, was an accident. That is just something wrong with that. Uh, and that's where regulations need to back off and you use some common sense. Hopefully we'll be able to overcome that and get those families and or those wounded still alive a Purple Heart finally. The, U uh, the USS Forrestal Association has launched a petition to get the regulations changed to get their shipmates the medal they believe that they earned. We have a link which also has information about this year's ceremony. It's on our website, 13newsnow.com. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. There was a turn of events 